So hello everyone and welcome to my course on JavaScript math. This is not just a coding course. This is a creating course. In this course we are going to create this application that calculates and recalculates the parameters or the dimensions of a triangle. But it's about applying all the HTML, CSS, and JavaScript in order to create something. It's better to, I believe it's better to learn by applying your knowledge as you're learning it. You can learn more, it becomes more exciting. And so anyway, let me talk about this. Okay, so this is basically, we use form elements to change the calculate, calculations of this right triangle. We are starting out with a triangle with an A side of three and a B of four. Now, it doesn't really matter whether these are feet, inches, or miles. If we got kilometers or anything that's just I wanted to uh, use this the units functionality in order to be able to practice using the select element so we are going to use these in form inputs to recalculate so now basically the Pythagorean theorem says a squared plus b squared in other words the sides of a right triangle when squared and added together equals the square of the hypotenuse. So that would follow that you take the square root of the sum of the squares, you get the sides of the hypotenuse. And this has very many applications in math and science, construction. So we can do, we can put any numbers we want in there, say like 56.7 and 54.2 and when we hover off we get the whole different calculations. Now if you take your scientific calculator out and you take 54.2 square it and then take 57.56.7 and square that, add those two together and take the square root of that, you're going to get approximately 78.4 to the near rounded off to the nearest one. Now we can change that too. And that's how this works. Now the angles will also be calculated in, in this. And we're going to talk extensively about what these angles, the, these trigonometric functions are. We do a lot of console.log experiments. So you will need to be able to understand how to use the console and the expect elements. So, and also we build this graph with a library called D3. In fact, all of our JavaScript calculations are going to be using the D3 except for being able to get the values from these. We need vanilla JavaScript for that. But I also want to, I do have a little bit of a discussion on using vanilla JavaScript to do our calculations. And I wanted to add that to contrast the difference between using vanilla JavaScript and a library. Now, Using libraries like jQuery or, or D3 or to do our calculations makes it easier. But it's also since you, you know, this building this SGV with vanilla JavaScript would be very, very difficult. So we use a library called D3. Since we are hooked to that library already, we might as well go ahead and use the simplicity of using the D3 library to do our calculations. So anyway, that's this course, and it just takes a little bit of knowledge in HTML, CSS, basic ability to understand math. That's important. Being able to understand the values of using parentheses. And uh, anyway, and but it's, it's about putting everything together, making something out of what you've learned, you know, using your knowledge. Because if you never use your knowledge, it's like, what good is it, you know? And that's what I find when, when I was learning. And I'm just a self-taught learner. I'm a self-taught coder. I go, I took some classes in lynda.com, Udemy, but I practice a lot. I create projects. I go to the console. I try to learn from the console about what I'm doing. I call these coding experiments. We do. We are going to do a lot of coding experiments in this course. By the time you finish this course, you will be able to create your own calculators. You will be able to take some kind of mathematical, complex mathematical 
formula and be able to, with your knowledge of HTML, you will be able to, and JavaScript, you will be able to create your own calculators, you know. So it's that easy. I mean, it's 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 work, but it's fun. I believe it. You'll love this course. So, so if you don't remember, you got a thirty-day money-back guarantee from you to me. So take the course. If you don't like it, get your money back. You have nothing to lose. So anyway, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.